let's look at class constructors and destructors. First of all, I'm going to create a new class. So I'm going to have a, let's do a source CPP file, and I'll call this one account. And I'll create the associated header file with that. And this is for bank accounts. So I've got this uh, account cpp and i am including an account.h so i'll go over here and get my account.h loaded as well all right so in the account.h i'm going to create my class definition so class account and i have both private and public parts in the private part, I'm going to have the account number. So I'll make that an integer. And I'll make a float for the balance. In the public, I'm going to create a constructor and then a destructor. So I've got a constructor. The constructor has to have the same name as the class. In this case, it's account. So I'll use account. And I can either pass variables or not. So I'll do both so you can see it overloaded or so you can see how it looks with, with two different account constructors. The second one is an integer followed by a float. So I want to actually pass in the account number and the starting value. And then I can have other variables as well, other methods. So I can do a... a um, public method, and this is my constructor, constructors, so I can have this public method like uh, maybe a get balance, so float get balance, and I can have another one, um, float Maybe in a float, maybe void deposit. And then pass in a float. All right, I could do withdraw and other things, but I just want to make it simple so you can see constructors and destructors. Then I want to have a destructor right here. A destructor is a method that is called upon the destruction of this class object. So that could be if the class object goes out of scope or if you use a delete on the object. And the constructors are when it goes into scope when it's created. So for a destructor, use the class name again, except you want to have it with a leading tilde. So a tilde account. And this gets called as soon as the class goes out of scope. All right, so I have my class definition ready. Now I want to go ahead and create the class. So I need my account, account with variables or parameters. I need my tilde account, and I need to do the get balance and deposit. So let's do this right here. So account. When I define it, I write it like this. So I tell it the class name and then the name of the method and then what parameters are being passed and then I put the definition in here. So for this one, I probably want to have a default account number. So I'll say number equals zero, but I want to make it clean, so I'll use this just so we don't ever have confusion about which number it is. I'm not passing anything in, so there is only one number, but oh, I think it's cleaner this way. So I'll use this balance equals zero as well. Now I can create the other constructor as well. Count. And this one, it takes in an integer for the number and it takes in a float for the balance. So we'll do this number equals number. So this, this number right here.
here refers to the class number and the number in the second half refers to the local number being passed in. And this balance refers to the class balance and it's equal to the balance being passed in as a parameter. Then the destructor you do as the account because that is the name of the class and then tilde account in order to be the destructor. And this point you'd want to do things like clean up any variables you've created inside, any pointers you have, anything going on you want to delete those. Right here I'm just going to have a basic C out statement. And I'm just going to say deleted and then um, the number that I was that I deleted. So that you can see that it's actually deleted. All right. So I'll just do a. At this point, I probably want to also go up here and make sure I include anything I need. So I need to include my IO stream just so that the standard library things are available. All right, next I want to create my other methods and you can see that I have my get balance and my deposit. So I'll do account get balance and I return this balance. And then my deposit is account deposit and I need to pass in an amount and then I just need to update the balance so this balance plus equals amount all right so these are all the functions right here and now let's see what happens if I actually use this. So I want to include my account right here. I want to then create an object. So I will go ahead and create the, well, I'll create a couple. I'll do account ACCT1. And then I'll use a pointer as well. And I'll make that equal to a new account. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a third one, also as a pointer. And this one, I'm going to pass in a, a value right here. So new. And I want the number to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And I want a balance to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, at this point, I can make deposits and withdrawals, although account one and account two are actually both have account number of zero so that's probably not a good idea but that's okay now i want to show you what happens when i delete an account so if i do delete account two then i run this watch what happens um, So when I run this, it says deleted zero, deleted zero. That's kind of interesting. So it says it deleted zero. So that was the account two and account one both got deleted. Now, if I do a delete 
count three and run this. Then it says delete zero, deleted one, two, three, four, and then deleted zero. So the reason for this is because when I create a count one, it has a count oh, ACCT one, it's actually this one at the bottom right here. I didn't delete it, and so it deleted when it ran out of scope. This one right here was deleted when I used the delete command right here, and this one, two, three, four was deleted when I ran this one right here. The first time when I didn't do a delete ACCT3, it did not say deleted one, two, three, four because it was just there and it didn't go out of scope in a clean way because it wasn't directly tied to this method that ended. So if you don't delete things properly, you could have memory leaks. So just keep that in mind. But you can see how this works. You can see both the constructor and destructor. So these are two different constructors. And this is the destructor right here. And you can have them, the class definition or declaration here and the definition here and then use it to make sure you properly cre create classes, properly set numbers and values, and also to properly clean them up when you are done. There we go.